beauty so i wanted to go ahead and unbox this box for you guys now this is just a quick unboxing because i am in the middle of doing harmony's video i don't know which video is going to be up first but if harmony videos up first i will leave her videos down below in the description box so i wanted to go ahead and unbox this because i will be doing a wig essentials video so if you are a first time wig wearer if you are a beginner to wearing wigs i'm going to show you guys all the essentials that you guys need to make your own wig so i did receive my package yesterday now i did order this from amazon if you guys have not checked out my gex mannequin head stand unboxing this is it right here i'm gonna do a brief update on this gex stand and let you guys know if i really like it Okay, the plastic all came up ripped. But this is the second mannequin head that I did order. So the first head that I did order was from my mom. So I used this head. This is a size, I believe, 23. This is a size 23. So I make all her wigs using this canvas head. Now, this is the mannequin head that I do use. This is Kyle. This is one of the mannequin um, dolls that I was using in beauty school. I've been making my wigs on Kyle for the longest, longest time ever. But I was like, you know what? It is time to go ahead and upgrade from this mannequin head to an actual real canvas head. So I'm going to show you guys the continents that came in this. And I'm going to let you guys know if it's worth it and how much it costs. So pretty much, so pretty much you do get a little pamphlet in the back and... I'm not too sure what this is because I know I just ordered the mannequin head. Now, it do have the GEX mannequin stand on the back of the pamphlet. I do have the GEX stand right here. Now, this canvas head do come in two different colors and come in this color that I have here. And it also comes in black. Now, this is just the inside of the pamphlet. And it do have customer service number on the back, so that is great. So I'm just going to head and open this because I'm not too sure what it is. Ow, and something just poked me. Oh, so it looks like they provided a stand in this mannequin head. That's really cool. Because when my when my mom when I ordered the one for my mom, hers didn't come with that. So yeah, so this is like a table stand. If I remember how to do this, we use one of these. Or we use this all the time in cosmetology school. So it's just a plastic. Um, it's just a plastic clamp, mannequin head clamp. So that's what this is, and you just take this part, you unscrew it, and you put it under your table. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm going to just unscrew it some more. I might have, have to lift up the table so you guys can actually see. So this is how it looks on the table. I'm pretty sure you guys can see that. That's how it looks on the table. So if I just want to sit here and make a video real quick and show you guys how to make a wig i i can just use this clamp i don't have to go ahead and use the actual stand so that is really dope and the only metal piece up here is this part right here everything else is plastic so i'm gonna go ahead and open up the rest of the stuff that's in this packaging oh that's dope okay 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 it looks like they provided me with three curved needles three big long curved needles y'all i love curved needles it makes 
making your wig so much easier and so much faster they also provided 12 t-pins now these t-pins is what you would use to hold your bundles in place or hold your tracks in place these t-pins are very important when making a wig it just makes the process really really easy for you guys my canvas head is a size 22 I did get a size 22 because when I measure my head, it measured a size 21. So I just went up in size pretty much to know the front of the mannequin, the canvas head. This is the front of the canvas head and the part where it got that little dip and then a hump. That is going to be the back. So pretty much this canvas head really is supposed to mimic a person's actual head. The back is always going to have the number. So when you are making a wig, this number is always going to be facing towards you. That's how you know you are using your canvas head the right way. Another reason why I wanted to get a canvas head is because when I do my wigs, especially the ones with closures, I suck at parting straight. This has the line down the middle. It makes parting your wig or parting your closure super, super easy. So, so the original price for this canvas head was $23.99 plus $2.13 for tax. So everything came up to $26.12. Now, while the pandemic was going on, these canvas heads went up. They went up to about $40, $50, and I was like, no, y'all doing way too much because I am not paying that much for a canvas head. So I'm really excited, and I can't wait to see how making my wigs are going to be on this canvas head. Now, on to the GX mannequin stand. Do I recommend it still after having it for maybe about a year or so? Probably had this thing for about almost close to almost two years or going on two years. This thing does come in handy. It makes making my wigs super, super easy and convenient. I don't have to hold the canvas head in between my lap. The only thing that I did notice is the little feet at the bottom. It's supposed to be like black um, pieces at the bottom. Those did come off. Where they at, I have no idea. But if I want to take the bottom part, you guys see I can't pull this out. I would have to get like a, a pliers to like pull it down. So that's like my only thing is because the feet just fell off. It is, well this one is, you know, kind of easy to come out. This one is easy to come out as well. It's just this one over here is very hard. So I do use appliers to pull this one out. But overall, I do like this mannequin stand. I do think it's a good fit. So that is a plus for me. I enjoy this simple little short unboxing. If you do, definitely stay tuned because I will be using this canvas head to make a wig. I do have some bundles from Janet Collection that they sent me. So definitely stay tuned. But if you enjoy content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on all your post notifications so every time I upload a video, you guys can be notified. And like always, Say, don't forget to be your own kind of you. Stay beautiful and stay blessed. And I'll talk to you later.